my daughter and son, but I always say to them, um, just try stuff. Like, yeah. You have no idea what you're good at. Until you just step into a lane and see what happens, and you six months to a year, you like you don't enjoy. It. Take another. I said, right now you're young. This is when you need to be out there trying stuff. You don't yeah. want to be sixty. Yeah. And yes, try you to do. Yes, you out. do. What well, the, the, you know, I, I say there's no time trying everything. Well, I think I think with a, a longevity focus, <laughs> it's like never with, ending. Yeah, with like this shift though to to the ability to live longer. Like I, feel, I almost true. feel like we're gonna have what I'm thinking about is. During this phase of my life, I may run a 20 year phase where I decide to focus on something else, right? right. And then maybe another 20 year phase. Cause we, everybody thinks, especially when we're young, we think so like this week, this month, you know, this, yeah. this, yeah. this quarter, right? Mm -hmm. Next year, it's hard to take yourself out, you know, oh, when I graduate college, right? Or when, when I do this, that my life is going to change when this happens. I'm starting to go, you know, maybe these next two decades, I'm going to focus on this. And then I may hit two decades where I want to get passionate about this other thing. Right. So if we yeah. start thinking about it from that other angle, it kind of mm -hmm. becomes interesting. To also, when we were kids, though, 50 was old. <laughs> it yeah, was. I'm yeah. 42 now. Yeah. I feel young. You know, I know. Like, I'm yeah. with you. But I'm one, too, where I like what I was just saying, because I'm one who I don't like to create any. I always say um, the only limits we face are the ones we create. And so I don't have a ceiling. I don't have any limits. And I'm I'm one who try to stay out of my way because I, I feel like the biggest the biggest obstacles we face is ourselves. Yeah. And if yeah. I can get out of my own way, there's mm -hmm. no telling what mm -hmm. I can do. So I, I've gone through so many different changes. From I was where um, when I graduated high school, I went straight to college and was like, ah, oh, I don't like this. Left college, not that I didn't like it, but I was not sure what I wanted to do with my life. Right. And I didn't want to waste time in college. Um, so then left that, went to the military. I was like, uh, I don't want to do this for a career. Went to the fire department, did that for a little bit. Um, and then I say a little bit, I did 10 years. I was going to say, you did more than a little bit. <laughs> and then I was like, uh, I don't want this anymore. Uh, I'm going to go back to school. I want to go into corporate America. And did that and ended up getting my master's and everything. And now, I'm taking a new journey where I'm like, okay, uh, I don't know if I want to work for anyone anymore. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so. So what do you do now? Uh, well, I'm still in corporate, um, yeah. but I'm slowly kind of getting out of uh, out of that. So I'm a program manager. Okay. Um, and it's just where I, I can tell, because her and I had a conversation all the time, especially with her being an entrepreneur. We have talked, and I've done consulting work. It's interesting work to watch, yeah. Um, but just transitioning. Right. And it's just coming out of that. And it's like, ah, uh, you know, having a goal of being a VP of a company. And then you're like, why do I want to put all of that in for someone else's yeah. company? Yeah. When I have the understanding, the knowledge, I have the experience, I have all these things that I can apply. For me, I can invest in me yep. to that same level. And now that's where my mind is at. And now is navigating out of that and taking that new journey, that new step and sharing that with my kids. So I'm one where I don't think education is the only way to be successful. I just think that's one lane I agree. that you can take. And yep. both of my kids, extremely smart. Uh, like me, it's funny how all of us, school was easy. So it was the same way. I, I realized early on I could barely do uh, anything and still make a C. Yeah. And it was like, wow. So that's how I took it. And I was trying to make sure my kids didn't take that approach because school <laughs> was easy right. for them. Yeah. Uh, and they were both really, really smart. And neither one of them went to college uh, when they graduated high school, at least not yet. Yeah. Um, so certainly.